With the workshop title Advanced uh, Personalized Medicine through Technology Development, we wanted to showcase the latest discoveries, the latest um, advancements on uh, personalized medicine and how the invited experts that have joined in Siena have been able to tackle the most prominent challenges in the personalized medicine innovation. In addition, uh, with, the, with the workshop that has been hosted by Tuscany Regional Government, the city of Siena, with the support of Toscana Life Sciences, we also want to give high visibility to the best practice examples that have been awarded through the International Consortium for Personalized Medicine. Well, I think a very good way to envision the future of precision medicine is to take a look back at the achievements of the past 10 years. So just look at the incredible pace that we have seen in innovation. Many technologies and work, um, workflows have become so much cheaper, more accessible and more easy to use. And I think it's really key that we keep this pace of innovation. On the other side, we also have to make sure that innovation that are really sustainable will be industrialized, meaning that they will serve a large cohort of people all over the globe. And that is really a key thing we have to achieve together. You ask me what is currently the state of art to implement personalized medicine in clinics and I can say that after 10-15 years where people try to implement genetic information for better treatment of patients with drugs and to improve drug response and to avoid adverse drug reactions, we are really did a step forward. It is clearly shown that you can introduce genetic testing to improve drug therapy based on a really big currently performed study published in Lancet at the beginning of this year that if you really test patients for genetic targets related to drugs, you can avoid adverse drug reactions in about of 30%. So this is really, I think, a proof of concept that Genetic testing, personalized medicine, pharmacogenomics should be used and implemented in clinical practice. I think there are so many promising technologies in healthcare and in personalized medicine. But uh, I'm particularly interested in digital aspects. You know, there is a notion of information, of data in the literature, in guidelines, in publications. And I think no human brain is able to understand all this gigantic diversity of information. So I think that artificial intelligence and more generally digital uh, technologies could uh, bring something more digestible to human brains. And this is exactly what we do at Exacure on the medication side. We bring a digital twin of, of, of drugs uh, to people, to humans, to human beings. And we do that by digging into the literature and integrating this literature into a very understandable thing that is a simulation, a digital twin of the patient. This is an example of, I think, um, what is the most promising aspect of digital health. At Roche, we want to make sure that all patients have access to the best optimal care based on their individual needs. And to do so, we work with patients, with healthcare professionals, with governments and other stakeholders in the system to understand the complexity, the hurdles, but also to take down these obstacles that prevent patients from getting the best optimal care. And Concerning evidence, the way we approach it is that combine the pioneering science with data, with analytics and the technologies to advance the research and development, but also take care that innovation can be implemented in healthcare systems. So this requires data around efficacy and safety of healthcare solutions, but also data on the economics part so that systems are willing to invest and implement. The Gemelli Generator technology is a tool 
that uh, through the use of artificial intelligence solutions and access to the huge database uh, of the last 20 years uh, of the Fondazione Policlinica Universitaria Agostino Gemelli IRCS of Rome is enabled to discover new evidence and to develop predictive models supporting clinical research and practice. These evidence are developed with the use of data directly extracted from the electronic health records, which reflects the diverse patient populations, real-world settings and everyday clinical practice. These tools can generate evidence to support clinical decision-making and treatment guidelines by analyzing patients treated in the course of actual clinical practice.